For young partygoers, the nightlife in Brisbane has for a long time been a heavy provider of fun nights out until the early hours of the morning. But all of this is about to change. 2am last drinks, no high alcohol after midnight and no takeaway booze after 10pm. These are just some of the tough alcohol laws that Brisbane clubbers will soon have to face. However, it's not just the clubbers that will have to deal with what is being described as the toughest laws to hit the country. Club operators and workers will be forced to work shorter hours and consequently face the threat of losing their business. The measures will be introduced in a staged approach beginning July this year. Coming next year, February, venues operating until 3am will be forced to implement the 1am lockout. And how will you specifically be affected by these lockout laws? Because the trading hours are my work hours. So when that cuts, it cuts my hours short. Well, I'll be going home early, of course, you know, I lose, I, I, I lose money on it. Nicholas Brabin founded the organisation Our Nightlife to speak out against these legislative reforms. It's our view that the legislation that doesn't really address the root cause of alcohol-related violence and antisocial behaviour. We really need to change attitudes and change culture to, to address what is a problem with violence throughout society, not just at you know, three in the morning in a in the valley or at the Gold Coast. How do you think clubbers will be affected by these reforms? Next year in February we'll have a 1am lockout come in. That's probably a bigger psychological line in the sand that people will really need to address. Are they going to start coming out a few hours earlier? You know, People don't tend to come out until after 10 or 11 at night these days. Are they going to come out at 9 o'clock at night to spend the same amount of time in, in venues and at, at bars and clubs? Uh, uh, do they have to make a decision at around 12.15, 12.30 about what venue they need to be at by 1am to be somewhere? You know, worryingly, people may start coming out earlier, 6 or 12 months down the track after implementation of these things. Um, but in that time, we've wiped out a whole generation of uh, small business people, um, you know, uh, who have put their life and soul into a, be it a small cocktail bar or a cool underground nightclub or a cool live music venue. Um, they're just not going to be able to keep the doors open and that's a really sad thing. Are we going to see a decrease in violence across Queensland as a whole? Very, very unlikely. Well, it doesn't matter what time they lock out, people are going to fight and get drunk anyway. They're going to drink beforehand, right? No matter what time a lockout law is. Violence is a culture issue. It is embedded within the culture and it is grained and it goes down generation to generation. It's not something that you... It not, not, has nothing to do with drinking. It has nothing to do with drug abuse. You know, it's not... It's not so much later in the night, it can happen any time. It is estimated that around 6,000 jobs in Queensland will go. That's about a $150 million hit to the economy and about 80 venues that may shut. Popular Brisbane nightclubs, Our Place and Hot Gossip, both managed by Holly and Ash, will be one of the many to face the imminent changes. It's going to affect pretty much all of our staff, just DJs, um, our like tech guys, um, management, like bar staff, there's a lot of people that it's actually going to, going to affect. And I don't think people realise that. They all fight for hours as it is at the moment. Yeah. Being only open, you know, between two to four days a week, there's only so much we can give them and they're all looking for as much as they can get. So restricted trading hours will definitely affect them. I can definitely see what the government's trying to achieve. Whether the actions and the way they've chosen to do it is right, I guess only time will tell. For now, nightlife employees can continue to provide Queenslanders with ongoing entertainment, but come February next year, everyone will be locked out.